Hi, welcome back to Joe's Home Flavors. I'm Joe Silva and today we're going to be cooking cod. We're going to be doing a dish called coffee cod with salty breads and cabbage. And uh, we're also going to be using a little bit of chorizo in this, uh, in this dish. So stay, uh, stay tuned and then I'll, I'll tell you now what you need. Welcome back. So um, our cod today, the one we're going to be using, it's this one. And this, believe it or not, it used to be a uh, salted cod. And if, you have, if you've never seen the salted cod, I'll show you now what it is, or what it looks like. This is um, a steak of uh, salted cod. As you can see, it's completely saturated in salt. And this is a way um, to uh, use to preserve uh, the fish. Um, and uh, also, well, it, it's, uh, it's become a tradition uh, for some countries, uh, particularly Portugal, uh, to uh, eat their cod this way. So, first and foremost, all you need to do is uh, obviously when you get uh, a cod like this, you need to um, uh, desalt it for two days and uh, changing the, the water um, a couple of times. So you need to dunk it in water and so that uh, you rehydrate the, the cod and also that um, you relieve the cod from all that excess salt. You need to do this at least for a couple of days and if you change the water twice a day in those 48 hours, um, you then need to, in order to uh, validate if it's uh, already um, desalted enough or not you need to take a little bit uh, a little piece uh, from the center there and try it and see if it's got too much salt still or not um, and uh, obviously it depends on uh, how thick the, the the steak is to begin with the cod is and um, uh, obviously if it's too uh, the thicker it is the longer it takes to to rehydrate and to relieve all that salt so we have a little bit of um, of cabbage here this is what we call Galega cabbage, it's a Portuguese cabbage uh, and this one it comes straight from my garden and obviously I wash it and we have a few bay leaves, we have some thyme some thyme twigs, some uh, um, rosemary uh, some uh, garlic cloves and uh, we have some bread and a little bit of chorizo as well and obviously we need uh, our seasoning um, which is uh, salt, pepper etc and uh, uh, olive oil, loads of olive oil we're going to confit that cod in olive oil so we're going to be needing quite quite um, uh, some. Um, first things first, um, I'm going to start uh, by um, arranging and preparing this uh, this uh, cabbage so we know what to do um, and how we're going to use it. Okay, so follow my lead. This is really easy. If you don't have this particular cabbage, you can you can do with any any sort of uh, any any sort of greens you 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 might um, have. Uh, even if you want to do with the with um, uh, say uh, uh, other kinds of kale or um, all, all sorts of, um, of uh, green stuff to be honest I mean it's up to you uh, once you see the process you can uh, you can then decide what to do and how, how uh, what sort of uh, uh, vegetables to use this is the traditional way this is the the proper way this kale is really nice and sweet but also tangy um, and uh, it also uh, uh, melts pretty well so we're going to blanch this, um, this um, uh, cabbage uh, at some point a little bit before we actually um, uh, move it on to the pan. It's, it's only going to take like five minutes in hot water, uh, no salt or anything, it's just to, just to soften it a, a little bit. So, but in the meantime, this is what we need to do. So we have the leaves here and uh, we're going to um, make them uh, face um, opposite each other so that um, we can make a little roll with them like this and now we're going to take one end and, and start rolling like this now that we have this uh, we're going to chop it really thin okay so we have our cabbage here um, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to blanch it a little bit and then uh, we're going to um, use it on a frying pan uh, together with our bread. Uh, but you'll see that soon enough. So our cabbage is uh, ready for now. We also have bread here and uh, this, this is uh, some croutons I, I made earlier this week. Um, it's just stale bread that you have in the house 
that you can uh, you just chop it in little squares and toast it a little bit in the oven and you get all these uh, very nice and crunchy uh, crunchy uh, croutons which you can use for a number of things salads soups uh, and in this case this dish uh, so because they are nice and, and uh, crummy what I'm going to be doing is to salt them uh, with uh, some hot water so I'm going to salt them a little bit because uh, we need them softer so that's another thing we're going to be doing and now our chorizo so our chorizo this is a, a regular chorizo from Portugal not spicy at all we're going to slice it along the middle like that and this is only to this is just at the surface this is only to get rid of that skin and here we are for those of you who've seen my um, my chorizo video you know that you can do this with my chorizo as well of course um, or if you uh, if you don't have chorizo at hand and if you want to use say uh, for example um, bacon you can do it with bacon as well or um, any other sort of, uh, of cured meat if you prefer okay so we take that skin off and now we need to chop it in the middle like that and then do a couple of slices like this and then just dice it really thin okay we're going to render that in the, um, in the frying pan um, as well and then we're going to incorporate that um, with our vegetables and our bread and we save that there as well so our cod we're going to remove I'm pulling my knife we're going to remove that uh, that skin and um, you can pretty much most of the time you can just pull it you can help with the knife if you want but it should be um, pretty straightforward okay as you can see it's coming right off just help with the tip of the knife so it doesn't bring any cards so we've removed that skin there's a few um, bones and then um, if you want to keep this loin you need to keep those center bones but if you want to get rid of if you can find some, some uh, of, uh, of other bones you can just you can just um, pick them like that feel with your fingers and then just take them out but this uh, cod uh, loin is now saturated with water so uh, it's really uh, hydrated now so um, the more you pull at it the, the, the more chances there are uh, it, it will become uh, it will come apart so the skin you should you should uh, take out the bones it's up to you but uh, I don't mind them they're pretty uh, thick so um, they're easy to, to spot now we have two lines can just leave those those bones there and our fish is ready as well so I already have some uh, water going here so I'm, I'm going to blanch our cabbage in that hot water it just needs about five minutes and then we're done so just leave it there for a little bit this is just to soften um, the, um, the cabbage a little bit before we actually uh, work it obviously we need to um, work it uh, we're going to uh, uh, work it on the frying pan and we need a little bit softer and the same thing goes for our bread so we're going to pour some water onto this bread here this is hot water this is just to um, make it a little bit softer okay it will soak there for a bit maybe a little more And then we need to drain this uh, this bread from this water before we actually use it okay this is just to make it soft a little bit okay so we're gonna leave that for now cabbage is going nice okay so our cabbage it's already um, blanched so as you can see it's still smoking um, our our bread is also uh, soaking a little bit and we are now going to um, confit our cod 
Um, I have about nearly a liter of, um, of uh, olive oil on there. I'm going to place these loins in that olive oil. Might need to top it up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, we have about a liter of, um, of uh, olive oil on the, in, in this case, but it depends on the size of your uh, cod steak or, or loin and depends also uh, on the size of the pot, etc. So now we're going to uh, perfume that um, olive oil with uh, rosemary, so one branch. Um, thyme, a um, couple of bay leaves as well, and some garlics. So garlics again, we don't need um, We don't need to worry about the skin, we just need to get them in there. Okay, I crush them a little bit just to release uh, that flavor. So we have that um, ongoing there. And uh, we need to be uh, careful with, the, with this um, confit because if you see too much, uh, if you see uh, foam coming out, like white foam coming out of the, of the cod, that means it's probably ready. So it, uh, again, depending on the, on the size of your uh, cod loin, um, it shouldn't take it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes so uh, the the heat of the of the of the fat whichever fat in this case the uh, olive oil uh, shouldn't be too high either, uh, uh, either because otherwise it will actually cook the the, um, the cod it will uh, boil the cod which is not what we're looking for and we don't want to fry it either so I'm going to bring it down to a nice simmer and we need to pay attention to um, the behavior of this uh, fat and this um, um, this cod, okay? I'm not even going to uh, cover the pot because I need to keep an eye on that. Okay, so um, we've um, coffee our um, uh, cod and we're going to reserve that for now and we're going to start on our um, bread and vegetables. So the first thing we need there is a little bit of olive oil. And I have chopped a little bit uh, of um, uh, garlic. Uh, I have about three cloves here. And I'm going to get the tree so in, in here as well. The chorizo already has uh, uh, salt, so we need to be careful when seasoning. Okay, maybe just a just a pinch of salt and pepper. We're going to add the bread now, slowly. We want this on a medium heat because we don't want to burn that garlic, okay? The reason I'm using a, um, a wooden spoon is because obviously I want to keep scraping constantly the bottom of that frying pan because um, everything that gets stuck on there is flavor and we want that incorporated rather than more. Maybe a little bit more olive oil. Now the bread is becoming too soft and uh, and um, disassembled, so it's going it's going to an, um, a thinner and a softer texture. So now we add the greens. And we start involving this. Okay, so our vegetables are ready as well. So I'm going to debone this, um, this cod and uh, mount it on the plate. And um, we'll see him in the end. Right, so uh, this is the bit that I normally don't show. Um, uh, I'm going to assemble our, our plate. 
uh, first and foremost, I have a few boiled potatoes here, which I've just cooked without uh, any salt. So I'm going to mash them a little bit like this. And so I've just added a little bit of butter. And I'm going to smash this, these a little bit. Um, just into a, let's say, a rustic sort of mashed potato. Cap butter. I'm going to use a little bit of salt as well and pepper. And even a little bit of paprika, just to give it a little bit of color and keep mashing that in. Little bit of olive oil, okay. Now I have a few chives here, so I'm just going to get a little bit of chives on there. Now, so I have these, these discs. I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil on there, just to make my life easier. Place that on the plate. And some of that butter, and some of that uh, potatoes in there. You can use a spoon, it's probably easier to get this pressed down. Now, we need some of that onto there as well. Some of our vegetables. There we are. Again, our spoon. Here we are, beautiful people, um, our magnificent um, dish of cod. And um, to remind you, this is a confit cod with salted bread and cabbage. I forgot to say that there's chorizo in the cabbage and the bread as well, but in any case, you've seen me uh, cooking it. So this is um, how it looks. Uh, this is a fancy way to present it. You can just pile the whole thing on a plate if you want. Um, now the pièce de résistance. Um, well, not the piece of resistance, the um, proof um, that it would, uh, it would well, it's for me to actually try it. So I'm going to start with my vegetables, with my, my bread, and a little bit of that smashed potato, uh, cooked potato that I incorporated into the dish as well. Mm. But it's so nice. That bread with the chorizo and the green leaves. Oh my god. This is really nice. The cod is just flaking away. Honest to God. Look at that. It's just it's just it just comes apart. And um, yeah. Cooked to perfection. It cooked for about 15 minutes. Um, on a medium heat, um, but then you, you control it with the, with the bubbles. As soon as you see the, the olive oil bubbling, you need to bring it down because you know, it's not supposed to boil, it's supposed to confit. Nice. Ah. 
that's another one nice for, I think from the Lisbon area um, I'm not quite sure but it's called funny enough it's called master silver which is me thank you so thank you very much for watching this uh, recipe as well I hope I don't think it's too elaborate because it's not it's got a, a couple of processes but no big deal I'm not a chef I'm, I'm just a, a home cook so if I can do it you can do it and um, yeah thank you very much for watching um, this video um, also and um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do and uh, share with your friends and see what they think about it uh, and if you want to give your, your own twist to my recipes by all means go ahead and if you um, if you have it, your own ideas about uh, whatever uh, I'm cooking uh, write down below as, as in all my recipes all the ingredients and the portions and everything will be on uh, joelsonflavors.com so you just go up by there and, uh, and check on that recipe and um, on any other recipe because um, I, I got them all there so by all means and uh, uh, I hope to see you soon and I hope to see you on the next one and uh, yeah, thank you again and uh, ciao.